Hello everyone and welcome to the first lecture video in theory of computation. Let's begin with the introduction section. In this section we will discuss about what is theory of computation, what are the different applications of theory of computations, that is why this subject is included in computer science course and finally we will discuss about what we will study in this whole course. So let's begin. So as we see theory of computation uh, composed of two words that is theory and computation. To clearly understand about theory of computation we have to understand this computation. This computation refers to any tasks that can be performed by any machines or computers. So in this sense we can say that this theory of computation is all about the detail study of study of tasks performed by computer or machines or any machines. That is what types of problems can be solved by a computer and what types of problems cannot be solved by using computers or machines. If the computer can solve a particular problem then how much time it takes to solve that problem and what are the steps carried out by the computer to solve the problems. Now why we study this subject? or what is the scope or goal of this subject. To clearly answer this question let us suppose we want to build a machine M to accomplish a task let us suppose A. So for this First, we have to determine whether this particular task A can be solved or not solved by machines or computer. computers. So if it is uh, solved by the computer then how much time it takes to solve that problem. That means we have to determine whether it is feasible uh, or not to accomplish this task in the computer. If it is feasible then we must have a detailed knowledge of the steps, steps that is required to solve the problem A. So after getting the detailed knowledge of the steps required to solve the problem A, then we have to make a mathematical model, mathematical model, model for the machine M, which is nothing, just a simulation of these steps, right? Now this mathematical model is programmed by using programmed by using some programming languages to make a software for machine M and finally this software is fed in the hardware of the machine M and this machine works as our desire. So this is how an automatic machines or some machines are built. So the knowledge of theory of computation is required for building an automatic machines. So here this part covers in section types of problems and this 
this whole part covers in complexity theory theory and this whole part that is making a mathematical model covers in automata theory that is we will discuss about how to build dfa nfa pda pda turing machines and so on so this mathematical model is nothing it's just a dfa nfa pda or turing machines so from the previous example of building the automatic machines we can say that uh, theory of computations uh, generally tries to give the answer of these following questions one is what are the mathematical properties of what are the mathematical properties of properties of of hardware and software that is the limitation of machines and software and similarly it also tries to give the answer of what is the computation or algorithm to solve the problem in summary the purpose of TOC is to develop a mathematical model that is either DFE NFE PDE Turing machine or so on these are some of the mathematical models and that reflect real world computers or machines and study its theory that is theory means determining the capabilities of the computers and the limitation of the computers what types of problems can be solved by computers and what types of problems cannot be solved by computers how much time it takes uh, to solve the particular problems and so on now talking about our course our whole course is divided into three sections first complexity theory then computability theory and another is automata theory now this complexity theory gives the idea about how much time and space required to solve problem and this computability theory gives an idea about whether the problem can be solved or cannot be solved by computer or machines and this automata theory also to build a mathematical model for the machine this mathematical model is nothing it's just a simulation of the steps required to solve the problem so the main focus of this subject is automata theory where we study about how to build dfe nfe pda and turing machine that's all in introduction section. Thank you for watching and see you in next lecture video.